Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Or today, yeah, I know it's been quite a bit, but I'm finally being able to put out a review, and today we are reviewing Avengers Endgame. Originally, I was planned to planning to have Randall here. He was in my How to Train a Dragon video, my cousin. But he wasn't able to make it. We've been trying to do this for a while, but he just um just with his work he hasn't been able to. And so I thought I'd be able to, I'll just make this by myself. And if you're wondering about the tournament van and movies, well, the reason it's not out is because those videos take so long to edit. And no, it's not because I don't want to do the work for you guys. I can totally do that. It's just that school is really... I'm getting to final exams, and I just want to get those. I want to get good grades on those. So as soon as those are done, that's the one I'll get back on those series. But right now, I'm just going to focus on some other reviews. Like, I'm going to do, right now, Endgame. I will do a review on Aladdin, where I'll compare it to um, the original Aladdin. And yeah, do some other reviews, and... But right now we are reviewing Endgame, and my dog is be is being very loud. Teddy, come here. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to come. Yeah, he's being a little loud, in my opinion. So, <laughs> but yeah. So today we are going to be talking about Teddy. Stop it. Sit. Good boy. So today we're going to be talking about Avengers Endgame, and uh, yeah, I think we should let's just get into the review right now. All right. So the story for Endgame is it's um falls right after in, in um Infinity War with Stark in space with Nebula. As their ship is about to run out of fuel, they run into Captain Marvel, who brings them back to Earth. After they find out um that the pa the Infinity Stones were used again on a different planet, they track Thanos down to to that planet. When they find out that um Thanos just used the stones to destroy them and they're no longer there. Thor kills Thanos with his axe, which did surprise me. That did surprise me. And then it cuts five years later, which is where all the heroes in mourning. And that's another good thing to do. They did a great job showing them in that way. Like, I can't talk today, but the way they showed their, um, the way they mourn, they all, they all mourn in their own ways, like how they would act. Except I kind of was not crazy about Thor's way of, he was really sick sad like i felt sorry for him every time i saw him but after that they um find out ant-man escapes the quantum realm and they find out that time travel is possible with the quantum realm then after that they get into suits these tra time travel suits and go back to other movies to get the stones now i really like this story too and it, one of my favorite parts is that they go back to other movies that is so i love that so much it was so fun for them to go back to the avengers guardians of the galaxy thor the dark world like it was so fun to see them go back to those and i really enjoyed that and it was really fun although some problem i feel like there was too much convenience in the stories probably the biggest biggest convenience is how ant-man escaped a rat walks over it and causes him to get out i thought that was really stupid like the first time i watched it i didn't notice it but after rewatching, it i'm like well that's pretty stupid that was one of the, my problems with the story and one thing i also really like about the story is um the um, this story really helps um all the characters grow like uh, i can't talk today but the way all because um in infinity war they had um more characters to work with but in this movie they don't have as many but they have to develop them differently because they're all in mourning. They have to get all their friends back. And I think they did a great job with that. I think this story is pretty good. I do enjoy it quite a bit. And yet, um, so we'll move on to um, characters. I just, what's there to say about characters? What I haven't said, like, Captain America was obviously my favorite part of this movie favorite character in other movies he's always been around my second favorite spent my favorite the hero for a while was thor but this movie is what knocked him out of that front spot i thor was not like he was funny but i he just made me sad every time i seen him and that's and captain america even if thor was his regular i still would have put um captain america my favorite and that moment when he picked up that hammer i was just Oh, I almost jumped out of my seat in joy. Like, holy crap, yes! Like, that is, in my opinion, the best scene of the film. I was so happy. Like, the audience that uh, in the theater I was watching just started like, woohoo! It was so awesome. And overall, he's just a great leader, too, and I really liked his character. And then there's Tony Stark. And 
I like his character too a lot. He makes the ultimate sacrifice in the end and to kill Thanos and the army, but he does die in the end. And they gave him a really nice funeral too. And in this, this is probably the best movie um, for Tony Stark, or my favorite movie that he's in um, as Tony Stark. And I really liked him in this movie. And I just think he's only the second best for me. I think Captain America is my favorite. And let's talk about Thor. Thor is a character I always loved. He was cool. He was funny. And I really loved his character. But in this movie, he's just funny. And that was my problem. Like, he lost all the coolness to him. Like, he's just fat now. And that really, like... Sure, he has his moments when he gets Stormbreaker and Mjolnir. And... Other, like, even that, like, it just, it made me sad every time I saw him. I still love Thor, but I still, like, uh, but he made me sad. I think that in this movie, the most, in two characters who were really improved in um, this movie were Nebula and Hawkeye. We'll talk about Nebula first. Nebula has gone from a character who was a villain to an anti-hero in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and then went to a hero in Infinity War. She has a really nice arc. She has a very big role in this. And I really like her character. Working with all the other characters, it, like um, the way she interacts with other characters, like Tony, is it's pretty cool. And Hawkeye is a very improved character. We actually find out um, what the snapping, or I think it's called the decimation, what they called the snap. What happened to a normal guy's family? See, this is where Captain America, when they snap, he saw it as a la uh, loss of the world. Hawkeye saw it as loss for him because he lost his family. He wasn't in on the battle. So it makes what Thanos did like personal to him. And Hawkeye was probably the one of the most improved characters from Endgame. And quickly we'll talk um, about Captain Marvel. In my opinion, she is the worst part of the movie or one of the worst parts. Just because she doesn't fit with the rest of the Avengers. This is like a final story for all the characters. After, I think it's 10 years. I think, yeah, 10 years of them going. I feel like she was intruding on the story. Because every time she was on screen, I'm like, why are you here? Like, she didn't need to be there. She didn't. She didn't help them win. Just had some cool actions. And don't get me wrong. The action scene, actions, action scenes she was in were awesome. But that's about all I can say for her. Her actor was just okay, almost bad, and I just didn't like her character that much. Also, she was just, felt like, like, when she walks in, like, they were like, we couldn't beat that sport, and she's like, well, now you have me. Like, I'm now here, so now, you, I, because I'm here, you can win. Like, that's how, like, I took it. Like, she's just being, like, she's cocky, and, like, I didn't like it. And overall, I think most of the characters in this movie are pretty good. And quickly, we'll talk about Thanos. Thanos, to me, I think he wasn't as compelling as he was in Infinity War. He In this movie, he's just used as the threat. He doesn't, like, have the mode, like, uh, he's, because in the first movie, he felt like what he was doing was good. And although he feels that way about, and this feels like what he's doing in this movie is good, it doesn't hit you like it does in the um, Infinity War, like, his motivation. He just comes across as a guy, like, I want to destroy the universe. That's all it comes across in this movie. Because he's willing to do anything in the Infinity War. It's like, like what he does is pretty, like, holy, like, he threw Gamora off a cliff and killed her, like, to get what he wanted. But in this movie, he just feels like the obstacle. That's what he felt like to me. And all, the, and even without the stones, was it just me? Or did he feel more powerful? Like, he could, he could best Thor with Stormbreaker and Mjolnir, almost kills him, and... Even with the stones, it was the same. They had a hard time beating him and lost, but they almost lost him in this movie. And overall, I think Thanos is just decent in this movie. And now let's talk about the action. Holy crap, this action is glorious. There isn't very as much compared to Infinity War because Infinity War was just Infinity War was just straight action, straight action throughout the whole thing, and it was great. But in this movie, it only has a bit. It saves it for the end. I have never been so happy in a movie before. At that action scene where all of them start coming through the portal, I'm like, yes, this is going to be awesome. And it it was amazing. Like, oftentimes when there's too many characters, the, the battle can feel like a mess. But in this movie, it shows all of the characters' power and everything about it is just great. I love that final action scene so much. And everything about it was amazing. And... It's truly an amazing uh, action scene. Everything about it. I can't, I can't say more. Just everything about it is amazing. 
So Endgame for me was an amazing movie. In my opinion, I think it was better than Infinity War. And it was awesome. Like, it's a really good movie. Do I have problems with it? I have three three problems with the movie. First, Captain Marvel. I know I... Let me elaborate. She just... She doesn't feel like a character who belongs there. She doesn't belong there. She just... And I'm glad they didn't give the victory to her where she kills Thanos because that would have been bad. Because this should have been a... This... It's... It's where Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America should have beat Thanos, and they did. It would have been bad if they gave it to Captain Marvel, who's only been here for a month. And also, I haven't seen Captain Marvel, so maybe my opinion will change on her if I've seen the movie. But she was easily the worst part of this film. My second problem, well, I guess they're kind of both, is the jokes and the tone. The tone they were trying to set with the trailers was to be like Infinity War. It was going to be dark. It was going to be just... Like the tone of Infinity War. And I am and I feel like they screwed it up with the jokes. Like, don't get me wrong. There should be jokes or else it would be too dark. Like, Infinity War, Infinity War was dark. But they had jokes and they really worked because they were just made, put in so naturally. For in Endgame, the first half of the film, the jokes are just so forced. Some of them aren't even that funny. Like, they just feel... I feel like they were just interrupting the tone of the film... The second half, the jokes were better, but in the first half, I feel like the jokes, they didn't know when to stop, and that was a big problem for me. So it's time for the scores. What do I give Avengers Endgame? Well, I give it a 10. I really like this movie, but the the three problems I had, particularly the tone, almost dropped it to a 9. But still, this is an amazing movie. And I, if you haven't seen it, I strongly encourage you go see it. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I don't have a, like an ending credit, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you thought of Endgame. And yeah, have a good day.